first and foremost, I love this film. So these characters felt so real, so fleshed out. Those are conversations that I feel like I've had, but <laughs> it's, it's an amazing mix of like romantic comedy meets sci-fi and I loved it. But the first That's question cool. I have for you guys is uh, this movie had, has uh, so much to say about our reliance on technology uh, that we have all this information at, at our fingertips, yet in some ways we're even dumber than ever. Can you talk to me about that dynamic? Exactly. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head. That, I mean, we couldn't say it any better than you said it. <laughs> That's what the movie's about. That's where it started. And we were just like, you know, living in Brooklyn at the time and just like totally obsessed with learning about everything that was uh, destroying our planet and then and then um, trying to get on with our day, <laughs> trying right. to get, go to work or whatever. And it's like the movie's about the comedy of like trying to do both of those things. Right. Yeah, I honestly crippling. Think yeah, I didn't know that this was the movie I needed right now. It's the perfect movie for right now. Um, <laughs> now, it's an it's an interesting decision to have uh, the alien so fluffy and, and visually mm -hmm. lovable. Uh, how does that affect the tension um, when the unknown seems so monstrous? Yeah. Yeah, right. I mean, we, with the poofs, like, yeah, it was exactly that that we liked, that this juxtaposition of, like, it looks like this safe, cuddly thing that, you, you know, you might want to touch, but it's extremely deadly um but you know in the, uh, the part of the movie there the the first proof that they encounter is is a little more docile so, <laughs> so they're okay for a minute yeah yeah um you know you mentioned that you were looking for a tom hanks and meg ryan types uh, for yeah. the film what was what was uh the special or specific about the quality that sunita and uh, john brought to the characters <laughs> Well, really that they um they come from the same comedy scene in Brooklyn and I think like having that sort of shorthand already um just sets them up to to feel very real mm -hmm. and connected um so we're very lucky that you know that they knew each other and that they liked each other and were excited to work together that's just a real bonus for for the directors you it, know it's funny because we thought of like John as like as Tom he's like he's our Tom Hanks and then we realized when we finished shooting we were like uh, he's more like Steve Martin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I know these uh, characters originally were like parodies of your own relationships. Can you yeah. talk to me how they, how that, the, how that evolved into being uh, the characters we got? Yeah, it was it was totally an evolution. When we started writing the script. It was just these little moments and ideas and specific like idiosyncrasies uh, from our real life. And some of those made it into the final movie. And they're and they're like really fun and like special to us. And people seem to like them. But then as we like, as we cast the movie and then as we worked on it and worked on it, they became totally their own characters and it was much more fun to watch than like, right. if we were to just watch ourselves. <laughs> exactly. Now, given the response to COVID and fires and hurricanes and all these other disasters, how do you mm -hmm. think the actual world would respond to an alien attack? Yeah, we'd do great, right? Everything would be peachy. <laughs> yeah, very well organized. I'm sure it'd be no problem at all. We'd have it, uh, we'd have it sorted. No, I mean, I, that was sort of the, the, the big joke is that like in, in typical apocalypse movies or alien invasion movies, um, you know, there's always someone who like figures it out and, yeah. you know, just the right amount of time and then just the time to defeat them or convince them that not to destroy the earth or whatever. And we're like, and we're that's not realistic that at all. It's never going to happen. Um, you know, the alien invasion takes place over three days in the movie and it's just like in three days, we're not going to figure it out, yeah, unfortunately. Just, so just flail until we until our uh, uh, ultimate demise. Yeah. <laughs> so we decided to make that movie. Yeah. <laughs> Now, what piece of technology do you actually think is your own personal downfalls? Oh, I mean, definitely my email is the thing that I'm most addicted yeah, to. Yeah, you know, you can be addicted to Gmail. Yeah, for sure. I'm definitely most addicted to like checking and refreshing yeah. my email. I think and that's I, the, the app that I go to the most. And after battling against Instagram for a couple of years, I finally deleted the app and I only re-download it when I want to post something. But you still look at it on your desktop. I still lot. scroll on my computer, <laughs> but it's a uh, little battles and eventually we'll see how it yeah. goes. Can you guys talk to me about what John and, uh, John and uh, Sunita brought to the roles uh, that may have not necessarily been on the page? Yeah, they brought oh, everything. Yeah, I mean, everything. But honestly, like, they're both such amazing physical actors. And that was just something that we knew was going to be, like, an incredible extra layer. Obviously, you can't really write a lot of that into the, physical the comedy, script. Yeah. Um, but they just, they have such great timing and such great presence on screen. So and, we really, um, we pulled the camera back to, to be quite wide at a lot of times because we knew we just wanted to see them really reacting in the space. And they're just so natural. Like, they feel like real people. So when crazy stuff starts to happen to them, you just feel like, 
you, you just feel like uh, anything, you know them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're just like, oh, anything can happen. <laughs> You're right. They absolutely feel like real people. This is an amazing movie. And thank you guys so much for your time. I can't wait for everyone to see it. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thanks so much.